Hello everyone, my name is Matthew and welcome back to another episode of the show that settles scores virtually, Video Game Death Battle. In this episode, we will have Ermac vs. Reptile in the second match of the Mortal Kombat Tournament. Well, for Video Game Death Battle, that is. Today we have Ermac vs. Reptile. Let's begin, shall we? Ermac, also known as the Master of Souls, can fight in hundreds of fighting styles. However, his age, or hell, where he's even from is actually unknown. Ermac isn't human. He is a spectral being made up of hundreds of undead warrior souls captured by Shang Tsung. This makes Ermac unique as he's technically a zombie in that case. Anyways, Ermac has no notable weapons that he ever used. However, one of his most, well, surprising abilities is known as Spectral Levitation. His Spectral Levitation has multiple purposes. It allows him to glide off the ground for a couple seconds, and in some cases he can even levitate off the ground during battle. Another thing he can use his Spectral Levitation for is to actually make his opponents levitate and slam them down to the ground. Ermac, even though he is actually a lackey, has accomplished a lot of things. He faced and nearly defeated Liu Kang in Mortal Kombat, ripped off Jax's arms in 2.8 seconds by squishing them using spectral levitation, and can twist the human body so much... <gasps> He can then rip out their entire digestive system in 3.7 seconds using the spectral levitation, as I already mentioned. This makes Ermac very deadly, so let's see how he goes up against his opponent, Reptile. Reptile, also known as Sizoff, has an unknown age and is from his home, Zyterra. However, sadly, Zyterra was overrun by Shao Kahn soldiers. Reptile fights in a fighting style that suits his reptile-like abilities, which includes his acid and his invisibility. Reptile's weapons include kunais, battle axes, and Akira Hashi. I'm being honest, I have no idea what Akira Hashi is. His abilities include the ability to produce skin-piercing acid from his hands and mouth. Most notably, he can use his acid to create a gigantic bubble of acid, which slowly goes towards his opponent. If it makes contact, they'll be sent flying towards Rep Tell because of the because of the power of the acid. Ah, this is actually quite hard. I'm trying to say the word dislike, but I, oh, there it is. I actually said the word. Anyways, using this adisic bubble can cause Rep to be able to combo opponents into submission. Sadly though, Reptile has no actual really good feats. Hell, he hasn't really accomplished anything in Mortal Kombat. He's more like a lackey than anything else. However, now is the moment you've all been waiting for. Who would win in a fight to the death between Reptile and Ermac? Let's find out.
flawless victory. Fatality. Oh my god, that battle was over before it even started. Our winner today is Ermac. Now, the reason I honestly think Ermac would win is because, think about it, Ermac's had way more time to prepare for battle than any other ninja because he's actually a thousand ninjas. Except they're all crammed into one body. And somehow all those ninjas happen to know each other. Not to mention, Ermac has complete and utter control of his spectral levitation, meaning he could turn what would be the opponent's safe zone into an absolute hellhole. Anyways, thank you for watching, and tell me who you think should have won in the comment section below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you all in the next episode of Video Game Death Battle.